What's happening, people? So today in this episode, we are facing active in nuclear form. I'm not sure what the hell is going on, what happened, but we are gonna face this legendary Pokemon in hopes of capturing it. Our team is pre-prepared. I'm not sure what typing this Pokemon even has, actually. Huh, crap. Well, <laughs> we are gonna face it. I did save, so we are going... I'm, I'm gonna double... I'm gonna do it again, just in short. Okay, so now we're gonna face it. Grawl. While well, Acton appeared. Oh my. What am I? Felt rumbling or some sort. So, this Pokemon is a uh, steel type, obviously. It's level 80, so it can definitely live this. Oh. Oh. Um, well, I meant to capture, so uh, let's try this again. I don't think this Pokeball is even working on these things. Like, what the hell is this? Look at this! I'm barely touching this Pokemon. Let me try all the balls. Shit. Can I even capture it? It's not even... What is this? What dialogue is that saying? When I throw the Pokeball at it. This Pokemon can't be caught. So it can't be caught. Oh. All right then. Let me try. If I can't, if it can't be caught, then what can I do? I'm gonna try one more time. Bravo, Plu. I saw the entire thing. You really are amazing. Theo and I evacuated the arena while you were battling with that legendary Pokemon. Still, this is concerning. What about... What ha What could have happened that made Acton leave the heart of the mountain? I believe I could offer an explanation. You see, my gym is atop of Mount Lathernite, in East Tendor, inside of which dwells another legendary Pokemon, Acton's brother, Lathen. Although both Pokemon were, have been asleep for centuries, Lanthan sometimes sometimes speaks to its uh, ch chief Arculus through its dreams. Perhaps I could communicate with Acton in the same manner. Uh, right. Will you allow me to try? It's our best chance to discover what went wrong, but it's a nuclear Pokemon. It could be dangerous. Danger? I have no fear of danger. I am Varin, the dragon. Right, right, go ahead then. <laughs> What's wrong with this old dude? Brother of Darkness, heed my cover. The radiation faded from his body? Amazing! Legendary Pokemon are truly incredible. Almighty Brother of Darkness, why do you wake? What has disrupted your slumber? Grah. I see. This is troubling news, indeed. Acton says it was awakened by another legendary Pokemon which suddenly appeared in its lair. It began sip sif siphoning it started it began siphoning energy from the rare metals at the heart of Actonite. Acton attempted to define to defend its territory, but the other Pokemon was too powerful. The radioactive energy it was emitting made Acton lose control. It says the other Pokemon command it to attack the arena. Bruh. It seems like you've earned Acton's respect. It wants to join you. Would you like that to your party? Sure. Choose a Pokemon to replace. Oh boy. Um hmm. Uh 
Replace him, huh? Shit. I didn't see this coming. Should I replace Second Man? I mean, Second Man plays a part in my battles, but not too much. I want everyone else. Okay, fine. Back to move it to the front of the party. For medals? That's right. Wait, why did this legendary Pokemon decide to join me? What the heck? Rare metals? That's right. The core of Mount Actinite contains a massive amount of Cruiterium. Of course, it should ha I should have known. Uray and Curie never left him there. They've been right here all this time. Oh no. Woo ha 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 You weak, pathetic fools. You thought you had defeated us? But you mistake only gave but your mistake only gave us more time. That was all we needed in order to get all that we desire. Ultimate power. And now and now is the hour of reckoning. Kiri, stop this at once. Whatever you're planning to do, please. If there's anything human left inside you, don't do this. Whatever it is your plan, you could kill hundreds, if not thousands, of innocent people. Why? What is the meaning of this? Why? A weakling such as yourself could not begin to understand. This hunger, this eternal agony we have suffered, there is but one way to end it. Ultimate power. Utter annihilation. This is what we crave. The total obliteration of all that stand in our way. You're a psychopath. And that thing you command isn't even a Pokemon. It's an abomination. Brave words from a fool. They are soon to be your last. And you, you infuriating child. You push us back into the brink of despair. But our, ag but our agonizing defeat led us to discover something new. As we fled, we found a book, hidden among the ruins of what you call civilization. Within its pages was the very key we needed, our pathway to ascension. To ascension. Oh boy. It told us of the uranium cores in this mountain, and their guardian. Well, that guardian was no match for us. Now, uranium is absorbing the last of your core's energy. Soon, the transformation will be complete. Uranium has achieved its true form. An angel of destruction. Yeah, boy. Warding, radiation, spike imminent. imminent. E evacuate the area immediately. Plo, your hazard suit. It's the only thing that can withstand the radiation produced by your aim. You're our only hope. Are you saying Plo has to fight Curie again? All on their own? You're crazy. You're saying you'll do it? She's Plo. You make the rest of us look bad. If Blue is going to be a hero, then I want to help too. If we are exposed to the radiation, we'll die within minutes. So we'll, so we'll, so will the rest of the people of this arena. So will the rest of this people, the people in this arena, unless we get them out of safe, out of here. <clears throat> Theo, Varen, Professor, I need your help to get as many people as you can to safety. You got it, Chief. I'm going to do my part to protect people. I radio my rangers for backup. We'll dispatch the hazard team as quickly as possible. But I'm afraid that that when they arrive, it might be too late. Plo, you are the only trainer in this region who has, who has defeated Curie before, although this time it will be different. Uray has awakened an unimaginable power. Still, we don't have a choice. You are the only one who stands a chance. So please, I need you. Tendor needs you. The stakes are up in this one. I have to go. If I stay longer, the ration will kill me. Plo, I believe in you. I love you. Goodbye. Ha <laughs> ha. Your friends and family have abandoned you. Don't you see? You're nothing but a tool to them. A pawn that that they are happy to use. How disgusting. Humans are nothing but weak, selfish creatures. And the Pokemon that fight for them are no better. Nothing will give us greater joy and satisfaction to the race of them all from existence with a massive theomon the thermo thermonuclear <laughs> detonation. Thermo thermonuclear thermonuclear. Oh god, existence of a massive thermonuclear <laughs> thermonuclear. Oh god, detonation. It will start with you. You who have caused us such suffering. You will return that agony to you tenfold.
Yes, at last we are complete. True power is not grass, and with it we have realized it our perfect form. Behold, Gamma Uranus. Uh, let me go ahead and heal. So, it looks like we are going to face our biggest challenge ever. We're gonna fight Uraid at its maximum potential. So here we go. Phenomonuclear. I can barely. I, I can. I know the word. I can't say it for some reason. Anyways, the battle begin. This is it. This is the end. Now I am become death. Apocalypse Curie. We like the battle. You're in low eighty-five. Was that Billy? A tossing fella. What the? So that's Uranium has maximum potential. Oh crap. Can I live that? Critical hit, no I can't. Thanks, Atten. You're a huge help. You have timid look at these IVs. Ew. Bold nature? Oh no. <sighs> That's 51. Kick him to the curb. You already lost your special attack harshly. Um. Okay. How is this thing doing so much damage even though it's. I got an idea. Special attack is being lowered multiple times, but somehow this thing is just keeping up. All right, now special attack is completely negated. Somehow it's still doing a lot of damage. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> oh, atomic punch. Okay. That over at the beginning of the game was pretty annoying. Where does this pull my stats anyway? That's it. I've had enough of this. Your special attack is so lower that you can't even go any lower. I should be fine doing this. Nice. Wait, that's it? What? No, no, no! Oh, it's definitely a boss fight. No! Impossible! You, how could you be stronger than us? And... What happens now? You, I'll kill you. All by myself. I'll... Ugh. 
God. Ugh. Oh, it broke. Hector, you fainted. Plow. The rage should stop it all of a sudden. Plow. You did it, didn't you? You stopped your rain. You saved Tindor again. Against all odds, you. You stood up to a um, formidable foe and won. Plow. I'm speechless. What you did was incredible. Is that Curie? It seems like they their interface was destroyed. That was that was the helmet that allowed them to control your aim. Finally, let's see who the monster is behind that mask. Plo, you did it. We're saved. We managed to defeat Urain's ultimate form. We were taking people to shelter in Victory Row when we heard the news. You stifle. You saved me. You saved all of us. Again. I'm not crying, I swear. <laughs> I forgot, I didn't read that. I'm so glad, I'm so glad you have to have known you. Wow. No! No, I, I won't believe this. There's, there's no way this can't be true. Lucily? How? How can it be you? Lucily? Lucily is still alive? Lisa, Lucily is Curie? How can this be? Incredible, she really is alive. She doesn't even look any different from how she did on the day she disappeared in the power plant meltdown a decade ago. I've never seen or heard of anything like this. Hmm. Cameron, did you did you know about Lucily? Do you know about my wife was alive? I barely I mean I had Consider the possibility, but I didn't think it was likely she survived the blast, or that somehow. She managed to remain alive and undetected for years in the ruins of that power plant. But well, she was the head scientist on Power Plant Ypsilon, the power plant which was used as a front, as a front for illegal experimentation conducted by Thakespeare Laboratories. I thought it might be possible that she was involved in the project which created Urane. And you didn't mention this to me? Why? Because I thought she was dead. Everyone did, except for you. Silence. I don't want to hear another word. Pluto, what's your... That's your mom, isn't it? Your mom was Curie? So then, why'd she do it? Why would she go all crazy and try to murder everybody? Sorry, no offense, it's just I'm having a hard time understanding why anyone would threaten the entire region. She hurt me. She hurt my dad and Kaelin too. How come she didn't recognize you? Did she lose her memory? It's possible the interface wasn't responsible. Curious how it works as a mental relay. In exchange is exchanges thoughts and commands at a distance in order to let its wearer control your aim. It's likely <clears throat> it's likely that the prolonged use of the interface causes her mind to become frayed, frayed, causing her memories to deteriorate it, and her personality to change completely. In short, her, she lost her mind, but that would require a ridiculous length of time to sustain use. A, a ridiculous length of time to, of sustained use, perhaps ten years or so. Hmm. So you think she somehow wore that helmet for ten years? But how could she survive for so long? I think I might have an idea that, about that, Plo. Plo, you remember that tank that Curie put me in in the Vinoville's uh, power plant? Bruh. Before they did, they said something like, "Now you'll suffer like we have suffered." So I think that they—I mean, she—I think she survived in a, a status tank for all those years. <clears throat> That's what she meant. Yeesh. That must have been agony. I mean, I was only inside for one, for one for a short amount of time. I was only inside of one for a short amount of time, but it was still like one of the worst experiences of, of my life. It's like you're not consciousness. It's like you're not unconscious exactly, but you don't have any way to tell how much time has passed. Every moment in there feels like it lasts forever. That kind of 
That kind of makes sense, actually. It explains how she survived for 10 years in the ruins of that power plant. It explains why she went crazy and became Curie. Poor Kelly. She only hoped... His... Poor Kelly, though. His only hope was to see his wife once more. Part of him must be overjoyed that she's somehow alive, but finding out like this is going to be hard for him to cope with his revelation. He's right there, bro. <laughs> Plus, she's going to have the answer for her crimes as Curie. That is, if she wakes up. She needs medical attention. I'm going to make sure she gets there safely. Kellen, do what you must. Strap it, let's go. Whoa. Oh no, what's up now? Did I capture you? It's a rain. Quick, we gotta beat it before again fast. Before it tries to destroy us again. Wait, Theo, something's different about it. It's only in its alpha form. That's its, that's its least powerful state. True, I don't sense hostile intent somehow without Kiri. It seems different. H hello? What the hell? <laughs> Did you guys hear that? Where did that voice come from? Can hear me. Humans, listen. I don't believe this. It's using some form of telepathy to communicate. Fascinating. No, no more hurts. No more hunger. I'm free now. Did Acton do something to Rain? Yes, friend gave a gift. Eternal energy. No more hunger. No more fear. From what I remember of the legends, Acton is said to be the creator of all reactive metals. Maybe it shares some of its power with Rain? The critical flaw in Rain's design was its cons constant need for fuel. If it ran out of nuclear power, it would go dormant and eventually die. But if the legendary gave it a self-sustaining energy source, then it won't need to attack power plants for uranium, for uranium rods anymore. Sorry, no more hurt. Afraid for so long, afraid. Only friend helping me survive. Two became one, needed each other. And the hunger never stopped it. Had to destroy. Had to make it go away. Need the energy, only trying to survive. But where did Uranium come from? Why was it created? I've been trying to figure that out for so long. Remember. They made me in a place dark, underground. Every day they came, ran tests. I tried to reach out, but I couldn't move. No one could hear me. I was alone. All alone until... Cerebral U zero, <laughs> my God, Cerebral U O nine two relay in inhabitor engine testing testing. Hello, someone there. Hello, this is the head scientist on the U O nine two project. I am transmitting brain waves right now through the experimental Curie interface. If you can hear me, please respond. What is this? Where am I? Where am I? You're an artificial life form that was created in our laboratory. You're a type of something called a Pokemon. But you are one of a kind. There's no others like you. Alone. Data collection is, su is, is <laughs> Data collection is sufficient for now. You will speak again soon. That was the first time, but later they were they were there again. They would talk to me. We became friends. My name? A name is a special word that describes what you are. You are called U092. That's your experiment, experiment number. Most, most of the time, a number is enough. But, but for really special experiments, they get a unique name. You are special, exceptional, really. So you get another name too. Urane. My name is Urane. What is your name? Well, well, aren't you a curious one? Let's just say, because I'm using the Curie interface to talk with you, you, you can call me Curie. Every day, my friend was there, and at night, when all the others left, they stayed behind. They told me about the world beyond the lab, a world I could someday see, and my purpose, to change it for the better. I could create infinite energy, they said. Improve the lives of people in Pokemon. This was my purpose. Until one day, 
Your aim, please respond. Hello, friend. Hello, friend is not happy? I can feel what you feel. Why are you upset? Your aim, they to just told me. They decided to abort the U092 project. All my years of research, discoveries, and breakthroughs. And you, they plan to destroy you. Destroy me? Why? You were never supposed to have a mind in the first place. You were intended to be an empty shell, a living machine. But as soon as I interfaced with you, I realized, I realized that you were much more than that. That's why I need to cover it up. I hid my findings from the other researchers. If they find out, they would have destroyed you sooner. You're right, I didn't tell you this, but experiments like you are highly illegal. Creating a new kind of Pokemon is something that other humans won't allow. Even one that that will help make the world a better place. Dr. Lixper is a goddamn coward. He'd rather destroy all evidence you ever existed. He's a liar, a fraud, and a murderer. I can't believe I ever trusted him. What's happening? What will they, what will they do? You ain't listen to me. I will not allow them to do this. As long as, I, um, as long as I'm still alive, I will protect you. You deserve, you deserve to live. I'm willing to, to sacrifice everything. I have to make sure that that's possible. Do you understand? My friend, you'll save me? You'll stop the bad humans from destroying me? I promise you, I'll do whatever it takes. Uranium, we need to act quickly. What is going on? They activated the remote de termination sequence. There's going to be a nuclear reactor above. There's a nuclear reactor above us, and it's about to blow. Both of us will be destroyed when it does, so we need to move fast if we want to chance to survive. What do we do? I don't want to die. There's only one way we can both survive the blast. I sealed this room completely, so that nothing can come in or out. Your status tank. This is the only way. It'll uh, be only way I'll be shielded from the radiation. But once I go in, there won't be any way to get out. We'll have to stay in status together for as long as it is necessary. But I'll have this interface. We'll be connected, even while in status. This is our only choice. We have options. I want to live. Please, don't leave me. I'm scared. Shush. It's going to be okay. I made you a promise. I intend to keep it. I'll never abandon you. I'll always stay by your side. Always. Scared and hungry, my friend and I together. We were so hungry for so long, and then we got free. We knew that this, this to stop our hunger, we needed nuclear fuel. And with our power, it was easy to just take what we needed. But it was never enough. The hunger kept growing, and we got stronger and stronger until... I never wanted to hurt anyone. I didn't know. What were we doing? That it was wrong. What we were doing, it was wrong, basically. Oh, everyone's here. The hunger is gone now. I've been so afraid for so long. I thought all humans were out to destroy me. But now I know that isn't true. You protected your friends, just like my friend protected me. So that's why I want to join you. I want to travel by your side and see the world without fear. I think this is what my friend would want. It recalls to you. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I was trying to read that. You sense Acton is trying to tell you something. Human, you have proven yourself worthy. I await you in the lair till you wish the battle again. My goodness, this has certainly. Wait, can I just per return back to my Pokeball? <laughs> My goodness, this has certainly been an ex unexpected turn of events. I have never in my life witnessed a championship like this one. Are we even going to hold the final round of battle? No, I think Plo more than deserves to be champion. After all, it's thanks to them that we're all still right here now. As long as you're in agreement, Theo? I am. I am. I hereby forfeit the championship. Plo, I think somehow... All along, a part of me knew you were, you were destined to win. And you know what? I'm thrilled about that. I'm glad I got to be part of your story. Very well. Pulo, congratulations on becoming the new champion of Tandor. If you'll follow me, please. Yeah. 
This is <laughs> this is the Hall of Fame. It's somewhere only those who have earned the title of champion can go. Pluto. You've had a very long adventure to arrive here. Okay. But now that journey is finally at an end. Now, let's record your name and the names of your Pokemon for all of posterity. For all of posterity. Look along. Look along. Garados. Psyker. Melix. Wait, what happened to my S51? League champion, congratulations. Don't see my Pokemon crossing towards me. And Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver did it, right? Or was that a different game? No, Pokemon Black and White. The Pokemon, like, you know, come from the side and you just squirrel from right to left. Whatever. I guess it's not happening. That tux. Well, that is the Pokemon Uranium game, guys. As, well, that's the main game. That was, uh, very excruciating to getting through. <laughs> Took me two years, but we finally did it. Or two years, three years, I don't know. Wow, that was a long time. That's been a long time. But thank you guys so much for watching, uh, even though I doubt there's many of you. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I guess now I will be doing some of the post-game events. I already did Mega Evolution and some other things here and there. I think now I'll just uh, discover what else I can see slightly. I'm not sure what entirely. But we will see. So we will just let these crows roll out. I will mute myself. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, <laughs> my entire playthrough up to this point. So for now, I'll let you guys enjoy. Okay, we are back. And so... Well, we just finished the main game. Let's go down here, though. Good morning, Pluto. Your parents are in the other room. Come and see them. Lucy Lee, poor dear. Your father brought her home not too long ago. She hasn't woken up yet. It may be some time before she recovers. Still... After 10 long years, it's good to have the entire family together under one roof. That's good. It's thanks to you, Plo. You made our family whole again. I feel as though a huge weight has been lifted from my shoulders. I'm just happy we're all together again. Oh, that's the oven timer. I beg us all some cookies. Let me go get them. Hey, nice one, Grandma. Wish my grandma made me cookies. Ever. Lucily. There's no way to know how much damage the Curie interface did on her mind, or how long it will take for her to un how long it will take to undo it. But I'm willing to do whatever it takes. I've stepped it down from Chief of Tandor Rangers. Looking after her is my number one priority now. Eventually, I'll see your eyes open again, Lucily. I made everyone cookies. Here you go. Love cookie, not bad. Don't eat too quickly now. It's still fresh out of the oven. Oh, hell no. Yeah, that's why I call them lava cookies. Oh, Pluto. A lair arrived in the mail for you. It seems that 
It seems that since you've become champion of Tandor, uh, you've been receiving a lot of fan mail. It's on the table in the other room. Why don't you open it? Honored Pluto. Honored Pluto. There is a stirring in the wind. The gods mor murmur in the deep. A storm broods on the horizon. Our village will soon be in danger. Without your help, Suzuki Nami will fall. Minata and Kaito. Oh, so I guess we're headed to Sisuki Nami Village. What did the letter say? It looked so formal, I didn't want to touch it. Well, that's certainly vague. <laughs> they wouldn't call for aid unless it was something serious, though. I wonder what it would have. <clears throat> I wonder if it could do with the pirates. There's a piracy problem in the east of Tamdor. I know that the rangers over there are having a hard time keeping them under control. Maybe they could use some help too. The East of Tandor the East Tandor Ranger HQ is located in Angular Town. It's it's a Sinet uh, what? It's a Snek a scenic <laughs> my bad. It's a scenic resort area. But it's also known as a haven for pirates and other riffraff. Riff raff. <laughs> the further west you sail in the Tandor see the more treacherous and lawless it becomes but if there's anybody who could deal with it those kinds of conditions it's you Pluto. now it'll excuse me how i all tend to loosely but if you ever need to find me you know where i am all right what you doing over here grandma Nice. Whoop. Oh wait, there's Thea. Hey, what up? Um, hi. It's good to see you, Pluto. Guess we came. Guess we came full circle, huh? We're back in Moki Town, where it all started. Hey, I wanted to say congrats again on becoming champion. Huh? <laughs> you must be sick of hearing that by now. Well, you deserve it. What you did up on that stage. Facing off versus Gamma Urane, there's nobody in the region more special than you. I mean it. Oh yeah, Dad wanted me to tell you to come to our house when you've got a minute. I think we have something to give you. See you there. Well, we will see what he has for us on the next episode. So thank you guys for watching. We will save at this point. Oh, we still are missing our last Pokemon. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. We will, we will be back. Until then, peace.